Hello medical physics of around the world. Today we are going to talk about nuclear medicine. This uh, is the first video of a series. I hope it is to be useful for you. Hello people, I'm going to develop some uh, lectures related with nuclear medicine. My lectures are going to be based uh, probably 100% in the book of IAA about nuclear medicine, a handbook for teachers and students. So you can refer to that book for study further. Nuclear medicine is the use of radionuclides in medicine for diagnosis, staging of disease, therapy, and monitoring the response of a disease process. Nuclear medicine is a multidisciplinary science that includes physics, chemistry, computing, mathematics, pharmacology, and biology. The areas of nuclear medicine are radionuclide therapy, radiation biology, radiation protection, image reconstruction, radiopharmacy, radionuclide production, image instrumentation, data analysis, image processing. The nuclear medicine is based in the tracer principle. Nuclear medicine is the study and utilization of radioactive compounds in medicine to image and treat human disease. It relies on the tracer principle, first exposed by George Carbon Heaviside and the early 1920s. The tracer principle is the study of the fate or pathway of compounds in vivo using minute or extremely small amounts of radioactive tracer which do not elicit or generate any pharmacological response by the body to the tracer. Nuclear medicine is used in physiology research. The cellular metabolism, DNA, uh, proliferation, blood flow in organs, organ function, receptor expression and abnormal physiology. Externally using sensitive imaging devices. Larger amounts of radionuclides are also applied to treat patients with radionuclide therapy especially in disseminated diseases such as advanced metastatic cancer, as this form of therapy has the ability to target abnormal cells to treat the disease anywhere in the body. Nuclear medicine is named functional imaging. Nuclear medicine relies on function. For this reason, it is referred to as functional imaging. Rarely than just imagine a portion of the body believed to have some abnormality, as is done with the X-rays. Nuclear medicine scans often depict the whole body distribution of the radioactive compound, often acquired as a sequence of image over time, showing the temporal course of the radio tracer in the body. There are two main types of radiation of interest for imaging in nuclear medicine. Gamma ray emission from excited nuclei and annihilation radiation arising after positron emission from proton-rich nuclei. Gamma photons are detected with a gamma camera as either planar 2D images or tomographically in 3D using single photon emission computer tomography. The annihilation photons from positron emission are detected using a positron emission tomography, or PET. The most recent uh, major development in the field is a combination of gamma cameras or PET cameras with high resolution structural imaging devices, either X ray computer tomography, scanner, or increasingly magnetic resonance imaging scanners. In a single image device, the combined PET CT or PET MRI scanner represents one of the most sophisticated and powerful ways to visualize 
normal and altered physiology being the body. It is in this complex environment that the medical physics along with nuclear medicine physicians and technologists radiographers plays a significant role in the multidisciplinary team needed for medical diagnosis. The physics is responsible for such areas as instrumentation performance, radiation dosimetry for treatment of patients, radiation protection of staff, and accuracy of the data analysis. The physics draws on training in radiation and nuclear science, in addition to scientific rigor and attention to detail in experiments and measurements, to join forces with the other members of the multidisciplinary team in delivering optimal health care. Patients are frequently treated on the basis of the result of the scans they receive and these, therefore, have to be of the highest quality. In summary, this series of videos are based on the IAA manual which was conceived and written by physicists and is intended primarily for physicists. Interested professionals from medical, paramedical, and other science and engineering backgrounds could find it useful. The level of understanding of the material cover will be different depending on your background. I encourage you to visit the IAA Human Health website below in the description and to subscribe to this channel. If you leave a lot of comments here, I'm going to publish more often videos. Thanks for your attention. See you next time.